outside is just, it's growing. I think people have lost sight of what exactly we're here to do. Instead of trying to uphold justice, they're going for, oh, I'm hungry, I'm, I need my money. It's chaos. They've replaced the fear of the Muslim Brotherhood with fear of, uh, of being chaos. They're giving us the same two options. It's either us or something that's really, really bad for us. And it's worked. The people now are split. And um, I don't know, I think the protests should stop, but that's going to be very, very difficult. Um, because if the protests stop, the first thing we should ask for is we're fighting corruption. The whole reason why this movement, as a civil rights movement, started was to fight corruption. So it, we just asked for trying his kids. They are the corruption. Hosni Mubarak is the corruption. That's, that's my take on it. But the problem is now it's becoming very, very dangerous. And um, I, I think what they want to do is have both sides fight each other. And then we go back to business as usual. If it was really freedom of expression, and if it, uh, and if you wanted really reform, then why didn't he open the internet yesterday so the people could see? Why isn't he letting us send messages? Why is the government the one that's sending messages and using text? He's not helping us mobilize. Our opposition is weak too. It's just as corrupt as the government. So the beautiful revolution that was leaderless now needs some sort of a, a unified voice. And I think the unified voice should be, okay, we fought for justice, we're going out for justice, and we need to stop the demonstrations, stop the strike at least, and demonstrate every Friday. Let the economy go, save our country, and just keep on pushing for reform. That is the objective from the very beginning. Not people fighting each other and killing each other. Yesterday, his speech, he was just speaking to the people who are on the fence, and the people who, um, and the people who are, who are getting hungry and getting, and getting angry. And instead of getting angry at him for doing this to them, they're actually getting angry at the protesters that were trying to bring them their rights. That's how it is. To me, at least, that's, how, that's what it looks like. It's very, very sad. They, they managed to do what they intended to do, split the Egyptian voice of the Egyptian society. I don't know, I say we should start chanting against the kids. We just want to try his kids. I would say we just want to try his kids. Let's see how, 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 yeah, how much of a reformer he is. Let's test it. We have six months, let's test it. And let's see if he's going to be arresting us. It's not a very popular thing to say here. I think the people here want to continue to stand. They, they want to stay, they want to... I, I understood that. They're standing their ground. But then it's about convincing other people to come here. I don't know. I think the protest should be on the street and people should be known that we respect the people who stood and defended their neighborhoods, but we, they should also know that we were fighting for their, for their civil rights. We are not the enemy, the corrupt government is the enemy. Not personally, because now we're being linked, we're being, we're being accused of revenge and spite, and it's not true. I, I don't want to kill Hosni Mubarak, I, I want him out. I want to kill corruption. I want to kill injustice. That's what I want. I'm not sure if it's popular here, I'm not sure if it's popular out there either. They're chanting it, but do they understand it? Nobody seems to understand it at this point. I met several people outside in the Bloomberg demonstrations who said they were here until yesterday, and now they're there. So, like you said, okay, the division. It's, it's a very smart tactic. I mean, I mean, You've been here all the time? I've been here since Tuesday. I started with the first protest. I was shocked to see so many people rally behind a, a just cause. And then again, it's it's two camps. One that's, that's coming from fear and one that's based on another idea, which is the truth. I don't know. It's not about winning right now. I mean, the idea is to have a win-win situation. Stick to the reforms, 
and get him out. I, I'm just wondering, a month from now, when the internet's back and people watch the videos, what credibility does he have? But if the protests go on, basically he's gaining momentum. His, his movement's gaining momentum. You tell me, how are we supposed to convince these people to do that? We can try chanting. Right now, we can't go out, and people are afraid of coming in. I saw people going out, and they're like, okay, it's going to get very messy in here. It's obviously going to get very messy in here.